about we know that it's a memorial basketball game in honor of a very auspicious day, a very sad day for Nigerians. The 20th of October 2020. And if you don't know the essence of this of, of this sport, it's for two things. One, sports for social justice, for advocacy to let our voices be heard um, in ways that are not violent but still passes the message. And also it's a way to make sure that basketball as we know in Nigeria, which is an underworld sport, starts to gain the kind of popularity and the kind of attention that it deserves. And today we have this and I'm hoping and we're hoping that we're, that we're about to have an electrifying match. So, what are, what, what are you going to say, please? Jumbo, Jumbo. 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 This one is in Jumbo. What? Okay, so we're about to have an electrifying match between Team Jumbo. Good, 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 good. Back on defense, back on defense. Yeah. 
way to remember those uh, that fought for what we all believe in as youths and um, we're just trying to remember them, set the day aside to say, okay, thanks for what you guys did on the 20th of October 2020. It's, um, it's a way of us saying we appreciate what you guys did and uh, basically I look at but we do it in our own little yeah. basketball. Yeah, um, this is a game to remember the people that died at the two gates, you know. A lot of injustice happened. There's nothing we can do much but to like remember them through a game of basketball that we all love. A game that brings us together just for a little competition and show love about how we feel and everything. Okay, just remember the two gates massacre that happened the last time. Okay, so what is your advice to the youth outside there? Like, how can they continue the, the Aluta? Because Aluta still continues. So what, how, will you, how will you advise them? Um, I would advise the youth that we shouldn't do everything with violence and everything shouldn't be protest. We can speak our mind through the things we love. We can speak our mind through the social media, through the creativity that we have. Like us, we play basketball for a living and we're trying to speak to the world through the game of basketball. So I believe if we can do this, justice will surely happen for people at Toll Gate. I think it's a memorial event, you know, trying to, to um, how would I put it, you know, to remember those uh, at Toll Gate, you know, the 2020 event. Uh, uh, Bogti Energy Drink um, is um, actually the best drink in Nigeria right now because it's an energy drink that is different from other energy drinks because it is non-caffeinated and it's non-carbonated. So it's actually good for everybody. Everybody. For everybody. Okay, now he said it's good for everybody. Are you telling me it's also good for the female? Yes, as well. Yes. <laughs> yes. So can you tell us, is there any side effect for the females now? No, no, not at all. No, not at all. It's, health, it's good for fitness. Okay. It helps with rehydration and is infused with different vitamins. B1, B12, B6, um, uh, niacin, and so on and so forth. So it's it's uh, all packaged in one. Okay, so are you telling me that pregnant women and nursing mothers can take it also? Trust me, everybody, it's infused with glucose. Right. So it has no side effects. Okay, I'm Daniel by name. Okay, nice meeting you. I discovered that you actually know on the, you know, the culture that are playing the basketball. What's your own? Your own duty for still no. Okay, in the first place, I'm the coach, like, to take my own team. And someone right here is also a coach as well, you get. So I'm taking my team and he's taking his own, and that's all. Okay, sorry, what's the name of your own team? The name of my own team is Team White. And sorry, what's the name of your own team? Team Yellow. Team Yellow, wow. This, I guess it was Team Yellow that won, right? Yes. Wow, wow. That's my own team. No. Uh, is it Team White? Yes. <laughs> okay, it's Yellow. Yes. <laughs> so, yes. Team. so can you just tell us the relation between the basketball and what you guys are actually celebrating? Okay, what exactly we are trying to celebrate is what happened on 2020, like due to people that are dead and everything, just setting a memory for them. Just, but I don't have anything to say that much, but all I have to just say is, may their soul be rest in peace. Amen, amen, amen. Thank you so much. Sorry, can you also tell us a little advice to the youth outside there? We will never get tired of advice. It's like a wisdom. Yeah, sure. When you live by it, you grow well. You must be guided. In any society, there are always norms and values. And those norms and values regulate you for what to do and what not to do. So, as it is now, the only advice I can give to them, first is to look up to your God. Be faithful to yourself. Whatever you're doing, just be straight. Cheat nobody. And that's just the way forward. And whatever you're doing, put all effort on it. It might be like a joke today. Tomorrow, you get to the higher point. Yeah. My name is Jennifer. You're waiting for her, right? Yes. I'm sorry, I want to ask. You guys are going on. Okay. You are actually brought Oh, oh okay. Yes. No problem. Yeah, yeah, you can. Yes. Okay, so, um, like we know, I'm the convener of the Netflix basketball game. And what better this idea was a need to advocate for social justice in an unconventional way. In a way that allows our voices to be heard far beyond in a non-violent way and in a way that is actually impactful and um, that is as interesting as can draw attention for the necessary people to take action. So how did you approach this? 
<laughs> okay, um, so um, it wasn't a piece of cake, but um, having been in, in, in the sports world for quite a time, not so long, um, we know how stout is, and I would, I would like to say, if I do say so myself, I, I bank on my network of, um, of great sports talent, so I think it was um, it was a little bit challenging, but quite easy to be able to get um, teams who have played in um, the Nigerian Basketball Association in Nigeria, in other states in Nigeria, and some of them outside of Nigeria to agree to come on board to play and attempt the basketball game as two individual teams. So, so can you tell us, can you just give advice to female basketballers? Oh, okay, so for the female basketballer, I want you to know that um, that you, you, you are hurt, you are valued, and in as much as female basketball is underwatched, undervalued in Nigeria, you need to strive to be a better player and to actually put yourself out there and just the whole day you might actually be in WNBA. And um, also, I also want to give a very big shout out to our sponsors who are, you know, who are great supporters of, of basketball. I want to give a big shout out to Boxy, Nutri, Freedom Cafe, Bonjour, um, Seaway, and especially our um, our headline media sponsors. Thank you so much. So, this is one more question. What is the impression of the next five years? For the 1020 basketball game. Okay, so my vision in the next 10 years, in the next 5 to 10 years, is um, for us to have more coverage beyond the shores of Nigeria and beyond the shores of Africa, and for us to have more than a thousand participants who actually come not just to enjoy the fun and the excitement of basketball, but because they know that they are here for a social cause. Thank you very much. Niger to the world. Uh.